Hey everybody and welcome back to my treasure hunting in the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind series. Um, in editing the first video I did have a few problems and those were mainly that I was not very confident when I was recording and therefore I slurred my speech quite a bit and so I will make a definite effort to change that for this episode and all future episodes. And also um, I also realized that I didn't really explain what I was going to be doing in this series in the last episode, um, partly because I thought that the title, Treasure Hunting, was going to be self-explanatory, but it wasn't really all that I'm planning to do. So I will be definitely doing some treasure hunting, trading and for gold and stuff like that, um, but I'll also be doing some of the main story, probably not all of it, because... I do want to be able to get onto an Oblivion series at some point, so I don't know how far I'm going to be doing. I think pretty much as far until I get tired of it. Um, that probably will be quite a while though since I am really enjoying this game and I am having a lot of fun with this series so far. Um, but yeah, and also I did play around with the game a little bit after I stopped recording and I did join the Fighters Guild um, and I got some... And first of all, I got a mace, which should help me with my blunt skill, which is something I decided to specialize in this time. And also, I got some armor, so now I look a little bit all right. I I wouldn't say good, um, not very fashionable. Um, it's also it's not fantastic armor, except for these boots, which are very good. Um, unfortunately, these don't have any armor rating, but they did look kind of nice so I decided why not buy them so I have joined the fighters guild I don't know if I don't know if I've already said that probably haven't just because I forgot and so I will be heading back to the shirtless guy's house Quit and outlander. I haven't much time okay everybody's just gonna interrupt Speak me quickly. yeah okay that's Quit how it's gonna be outlander. okay fine you know what? shut up okay so I am heading back to the shirtless guy's house and um, hopefully he will have something for me to, that was the wrong button. Hopefully he will have a, a quest for me to do now that I have done some things and gotten some better gear. Uh, I am looking forward to getting more into the meat of this game. I am definitely enjoying it. I did start another character uh, outside of the series. And I have, which I decided to specialize in some different things that I haven't in this, that I'm not doing currently in this character, sorry. Um, and it has been very enjoyable on both characters so far, so I'm really looking forward to doing more of this. Okay, let's go into this guy's house. Again, I hope this, this is probably yes. breaking and entering to some degree. Alright. Orders, yes. Okay, Hesfar and Tabalus at the Balmora Fighters Guild. Ask him what he knows about the Nerevarian secret cult. Okay, uh, continue. Okay, he's a student of Morrowind history. Take the chance to get a little education. I have a few history books in here. Help yourself. You're welcome to them. No point in being part of history if you're too ignorant to understand. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I might, um... Whoa, wait a second. <laughs> You shouldn't be. You don't do drugs, kids. Don't be like that guy. He's doing skooma. My time is precious. Yeah, I got more acrobatics. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Forgot that I'm running currently. Uh, I think one of my biggest problems with both Morrowind and Oblivion is that the normal walking speed is just way too slow. Uh, I'm did. Gl I am glad that they changed that in um, games like Skyrim. Which I suppose is the only other one that they could have done it. Okay, um, let's go up here. I also um, okay. Well, shut up, fine lady. I'm not. A, I don't like you very much. Anyways, um, so I might actually do a, another series on Daggerfall because I know that I can that yes. that is downloadable for free off off of Bethesda's website. So that should be uh, that would be fun and. Um, it also will be interesting just to kind of see some of the more earlier games in this series. Um, there's the kind of rude lizard lady walking around like no, like nobody's business. All right. Um, 
And so I figured, um, uh, wait, no, never mind. I, I'll go talk to that guy in the Fighters Guild. So, um, just, what was his name? Like something, an antibody maybe? I, I, I can't remember. Um, let's see. Uh, has fat and tablets. Okay, it sounds like a medication or a sort of poison. Yes, what is it? Nothing. All right. Um, I where is he? Oh, you're. In, okay, you're in I'm here. listening. Okay. Oh, okay, that's him. Okay, you're with Caius. Eh? And Caius wants information. Of course, there's a this for that involved. Oh, I got a, a bit of a quid pro quo going on here. I require a favor first, and then I'll tell you what you want to know. I don't even know what it is I want to know, okay? Just just putting it out there. Alright, there are Dwarmer ruins nearby called Arkinth... Okay, this is weird. Uh, I am, like, 95% sure that this is also a place in Skyrim. I am actually think I've been in here before, probably haven't cleared it, because I'm a coward a little bit. Um, but it is kind of interesting that there are places called Arkingthand and both. I do know that Morrowind and Skyrim are right next to each other geographically, so that might be why. But I don't think it's, I think it's kind of close to the middle of Skyrim, but I'll have to recheck. Okay, so this is actually really bothering me, so I decided to just kind of look it up. So the place I'm looking for here is called Arkingthand. And there is a place in Skyrim called Arkingthand that, um is literally just one letter away so it's basically the exact same name just with one tiny difference and I have actually cleared it because I have completed the Thieves Guild um, quest line and it is an essential element of the climactic quest so there you go are extensive on the surface and underground head south out of town past the Silt Strider port then cross bridges cast over the Odai River at the signpost, head north towards Caldera. You mean, wow, this is, this is complicated. Uh, Malagmar. Okay, turn right in and head uphill and on the road to cross an ancient Dwemer bridge over Foyota Mamaka. The entrance to Arkingthand is on the east side of the Foyota, south of the bridge. Turn a crank on a pipe nearby to open it. Okay, wow, this is really complicated. I'm going to remember absolutely none of this. Um, so that'll be, that, that'll be fun. Okay. Oh, you're humming. All right. Oh, you're sniffing too. All right. So try to make my, maybe make my way there. That will actually be a. Um, I do know the dwarven ruins. Um, at least, yeah, I think it, it makes sense that they'd be if it would in this game too. But dwarven ruins have a lot of things that you can't really um, find elsewhere, and sell for a lot of money. It's actually one of the reasons why I'm really um, interested, like really, really excited to do an Oblivion series because in Oblivion itself, there are a lot of caves that have that kind of thing, and uh, I think in that game, the stuff you find in those caves sells for even more, and they have some more tough enemies that are really fun to fight, so that should be interesting. Okay, got my mace out, and yeah, I, I am. I am really confused that I didn't um, see the Silt Strider, so these are Silt Striders, by the way, in case you didn't know. Uh, I'm really confused that I didn't see the Silt Strider um, at the beginning area. Um, I didn't realize they were this big, and so I wasn't really looking out for one. But, you know, what's done is done, and so I can't really change that. Alright, so, bridges, I'm guessing this is the River Odai. Um, can I harvest this? Okay, no, I can't. Um, all right, so I'm hearing some sounds, crushed weed, crushed fiber, okay, that's nice. So I um, haven't actually, so I haven't actually tried out this mace yet, so I don't know how much better it is than a dagger. The, um, it did look pretty good on the specs, oh wow, I'm running on fatigue. Um, so it will be fun to try out and everything. Okay, more crushed fiber. That's nice. Okay, Molagmar.
No, actually, uh, okay, no, Caldera. All right, so we have that. I actually think I might go to, um, I actually think I might go to Pelagiad instead at the moment, um, because there is that other, um, woman's side quest, and she said that, um, the guy took her jewels. So, uh, I, and she said that she doesn't really care about the jewels, so I will, um, probably be able to keep them. And then I'll be able to sell them off and make bank. So I'm kind of interested in that. Um, kind of looking forward to doing that. Um, and I think Pleja, yeah, because this is Fort Moonmoth, and I remember seeing it and thinking it was Balmora because I I think that um, a village looks like this for some reason. Um, let's see. All right. Keep going forward. Yay, acrobatics go increased. Uh, Bleach ad, yes, this way. It's kind of foggy out. I'm, the draw distance in this game, I think I said in the first episode, is not fantastic. Uh, I probably could bump it up a bit. I mean, this is a game from 2002, and this is a computer from 2015. So, um, I probably wouldn't be too much of a strain to boost the draw distance up a little. Um, but then again, you never know. Okay, see what these signs say. Vivek and Pleijad are both this way. Alright. Alright, so... We got some lovely uh, stone structures. I, I'm not going to comment on their shape. I'm pretty sure you can think of it yourself. Uh, and I'm going to have no part in that yet. I am not sh I'm still not really sure um, where the boundaries are going to be on this show that sort of stuff, so. Okay. Riveting game. Oh, wow. He went down much quicker than he did. Okay, I like this mace a lot. Um, how much? Oh, wow, it has more durability than I thought it would, actually. Uh, they, they barely took any of it off. Although I am kind of interesting, since, le since right-clicking is what brings up the menus like this, I am kind of curious as to how shields work in this, and that will be fun to, um, see. Okay, Balmora. No, I don't want to go about Balmora. I want to go to Pelagiad. Um, I honestly have no idea if there is a way to fast travel in this game. I'm actually going to look at the options. Let's see. Controls. No, it doesn't look like it. Alright. Okay, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, it's going to be kind of slow then, but whatever. I'm just going to hop my way, maybe get some more acrobatics going. Uh, I have no idea how the leveling up in this game works. Uh, I am assuming it's going to be kind of like Oblivion. And that, if that is if that is the case, then that should be fine. I like Oblivion's leveling system. Uh, it is a bit tedious at first, but after a while you kind of get the hang of it. Um, I haven't actually played Oblivion in like almost a year at this point actually, so... Um, that will be, I might actually go back to that in a little bit. Not in a video yet. Okay, I'm kind of rambling right now, but I am just really excited to, um, do more of this series and get an Oblivion series going, so. I'm kind of trying to start the hype a bit early. If you... Okay, there's, there's the Ulamusa place that wasn't very good, I, I believe. Let me just see. Glories of having a map. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't say anywhere. Okay. And I don't know if... Yeah, please, yeah, just further this way. Uh, it's nice to know that I have... Um, oh, okay. to, that I have made progress to the point where um, I have gone to a place and then I'm going right back to where I was before. Uh, I think it was mainly because I just wanted to get to Balmora so I could end the episode last time. Um, and so this time I I will not be ending the episode when I get to the town. Um, I don't know how long this side quest is going to be. Um, I think that once I find the guy, I'll probably end the episode off. But um, if the side quest is not actually that long, it just kind of ends there, then I will um, continue going. Um, even if there's like a short um, extension, like a little bit of combat, you know, that, that will be pretty fun. 
so oh what sniffed what was the sniff oh it's that lady um where okay back to the map okay I need to go further all right okay slow walking yay um okay I'll probably actually just um, cut a bit of this out until I get to Plejad. Um, so I guess so I'll see you in Plejad. Okay, so I'm really glad I made that cut off um, because I just real because I realized um, after about a minute of not having any luck that I was going the wrong way, and so it took me about a good like ten minutes or so to come to actually find my way back here and it, nothing interesting happens so um I'm glad that I decided to cut that off so all right okay I'm here speak traveler no thank you Okay, so Bandit Nels Onmar. Okay, so I know his name is n at least Nellis because I think that's going to be easier to remember than the full thing. Um. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to go to jail for just being in the same place. Um. Uh, that's Quinta. That's the person with the who said the thing about dancing close to the fire. That I'm still, I'm not entirely sure what he meant by that. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna talk to him because he's weird. All right. What is that? This is a tavern. Might find somebody in here. What was that? Nothing. All right. Um, see up here. Room door. All right. If I can help. I will, but don't take too much time. Oh, there he is. Speak, traveler. Can I help you find a specific place? Mari's glove. There we go. You have, how odd, she was a lovely young boy, what would you want with a rogue like me? She is beautiful though and seems sweet. For the first time in my life, I actually felt a little remorse for robbing some, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. Um, tell her you have a note. I must see her again, I won't forget this friend. Yeah, do you have the jewels? That's what I'm looking for. Yes, just tell you have a note from now, I think you'll show me happy. I'm done. Um, there is someone watching me. I can tell. That's not. That's not good, dude. You might want to get out of here then. Oh, oh, it's, it's probably this lady. She looks. She doesn't look entirely trustworthy. Um, she's kind of got like the shifty eye going on. You know, actually, I think I'm gonna spend the night here. Uh, it's getting kind of dark. And I have the money for it, so whatever. Okay, food and beds are both at the same time. <laughs> Your choice. Beds. Yes, we have one available. It's 10 gold for the rest of the day. Do you want it? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Great, the bed is yours. At the end of the hall upstairs, you'll find it unlocked. Enjoy your stay in Pelagiad. Oh, thank you. You're very nice. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. Nicer than this lady, at least. Um, you're standing weird. A Nazi listens. Okay, yeah. I keep forgetting that the Khajiit tell say things like this. You want something? Okay, not really. Uh, mainly, why everybody stops standing around in such a weird way. Okay. There's a bed. Uh, Eight p.m. Let's rest for twelve hours. Yeah. I'm 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 doing things that I can't do in real life. 
it's kind of sad, but I'm going with it. And you're still up here. You like being up here, don't you? you, you... Let's hear it. Okay. How about no? Let's not. I'm saying that an awful lot. I don't. What? Okay. Do you, does standing around take actual effort? Okay, first of all, what the heck is this on your chest? Like, I mean, I've seen that episode of Doctor Who where the one lady has like a leech on on her chest that she uses to poison the whole world. I don't know if that's we got a deal like that going on, but if so, then I don't like it. All right. So, all right. We got this going. All right. See if we can find this lady. Again, it shouldn't be too hard because she's just kind of on the side of the road where she can get robbed again by literally anybody else and maybe not a bandit who is who likes her. Like maybe me if I'm if I decide to be a bad person. It's a very it's a, it's a very um, plausible option at this point. I'm gonna um, go back into slow walk mode. Maybe get my acrobatics back. Okay, now my fatigue is getting low still. You know, I like it's fine if you have a slow walk, um, but in that case, you know, just don't have the fatigue drain. One or the other, they fixed that in Oblivion, and I know I keep comparing this to a game that released four years later, but they just, it's. And I, I it kind of sounds like I'm not really enjoying this game. I really am. I think this game is super fun. I just think Oblivion is a bit better than they improved a lot with it. Okay. Yay! Back go increased. See, I didn't need to specialize it because I'm getting it. I'm getting so much of it already. Just by jumping around like a jackass. How may I help you, Redguard? I must find that note from Nellis. I think you know you don't really, and I really, you're clearly a wonderful person. You should visit my friend in Tel Brenera. He's a wonderful person. I think the two of you would get along famously. Okay. Um. All right. So that was lovely, and um, I was hoping we'd get at least some dungeon delving done in this episode. But it doesn't look like that happened, and I don't want this to go on for as long as the other ones. So I think I'll end it off here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope that you're excited for the next one. I am really excited to continue the series. I am really enjoying it so far. And I will see you next time.